What's up everybody? Ace Tactics here with another video. This is the 2019 version 4 Arma Crate. I put in new um, bearings which are from Avid Racing and these are these are rubber um, sealed bearings which are nicer. Uh, also just to give you a quick overview when you buy this pack of bearings from Avid it's the Armitalian. This whole kit comes with all the bearings you're gonna need for the entire vehicle, which is basically two bearings for each of the four tires. Also, it's gonna come with the two outside bearings for all three of your diffs, as well as this bearing, which goes here on the inside of this and this little one so both of these both of these bearings here go on the this bigger one goes on the inside and this one goes on the outside for that as well as this is the servo saver the steering setup you have one two and then on the flip side of this three four so four bearings um, there all those bearings well, basically that's the summation of all the bearings you're ever going to need to replace on your vehicle and these are all rubber sealed bearings so to get those new bearings in these which is these two avid bearings well i had to take this bad boy to it and it wasn't as difficult to do on the back end because it's open more and you can kind of with some care you can heat that sucker up without worrying about damaging the plastics the problem is on the front end there's not as much room and I'm not all that comfortable going in heating that piece up with with the the fear of melting anything in there so I have an idea this fabric is a super high heat rated fabric that basically will not melt and first I'm gonna do a test to see how good it works because while heat can't pass through or while fire cannot pass through it it mitigates heat, but to the, the right level, I'm not 100% sure, so I'm going to do a quick test. I'm going to take a plastic piece and we're going to have a little bit of fun here. So here's one of my broken RPM rod ends. Let's see what happens or how quickly it melts with direct heat from a blowtorch. We'll still use this as, because I, I don't know how well a ceramic bowl is going to withstand a blowtorch without cracking. All right, you can see it? Cool, okay. Okay, let's see how quickly it starts to impact the plastic. rather quickly so you see how it started fizzling I'm not sure if you noticed that but okay so the next test is to okay take a look at that we're gonna put it under take this and put it over it touch it down so it's touching on it and then we're going to put the heat on it for the same amount of time which I think was about five seconds or so and it's right there one two three four that's definitely as long okay let's turn this off and inspect
no damage so it did a decent job so we're gonna go ahead and trust this fabric which I'll show you guys a more like spectacular view of the amazingness of this fabric so check this out So here's what we're going to do. We're going to get this fabric in there as best as possible. There we go. We're going to heat this bad boy up. and try to avoid any plastics. Definitely going to get this sucker hot and toasty. Alright, let's see if that was enough. Bingo, got it off. Although I do want to make sure that this thing isn't touching plastics. Okay. There you have it. That thing is probably blazing hot. Can I blow a torch off? Yeah, so being able to get that part off without having to take the front end off was my goal. Um, that cloth, absolute lifesaver. Probably gonna wait a while before I start messing with that. I bet you it's blazing hot. Huh, it's not too bad. Let's see how this, oh yeah. It's still burning hot. However, the input gear is doing fine. It's not not too hot. Let's see if I can get it out. All that red Loctite is making it difficult to. No broken teeth, that's good. Now, I should be able to get both these uh, new bearings in, no problem. Yeah, the, the um, stock bearings are mediocre at best. Let's get that one out. Oh, 
old versus new. Well guys, that was the main thing I wanted to show you was just how to get that out without having to rip apart the whole front end. And um, if this cloth is something you guys are interested in picking up, um, just send me a message or something like that. We can work something out. Works great for protecting your vehicle from being damaged from a blowtorch if you are trying to be careful. So. Anyway, guys, that was the main thing I wanted to show you. Uh, if this video was helpful, um, like and subscribe. Uh, more videos will be coming your way. Right now, I've just been doing a lot of wrenching, but my goal is to start bringing some fun bash videos to the table. There's a lot of really cool parks around here that have like BMX jumps and stuff like that that are going to be a lot of fun to take, take to the... Uh, see what this thing can do there. Um, trying to think if there was anything else I wanted to share with you guys on this video. No, that's it.